Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Coding with Ullana Shiri. In this video, I will talk about how to use system with log constraints to solve Sudoku puzzle. Okay, so my intention is not to spoil the fun of Sudoku solving, but instead I just want you to show that how we can actually use system with log constraints to solve the Sudoku puzzle. Okay, so let's directly go to the coding, coding part actually. So in the screen you can see I have defined a module top and uh, um, we have the puzzle variable or I mean it's basically the array okay two dimensional array so so uh, so the Sudoku puzzle has a 9 by 9 um, uh, matrix and uh, that essentially we can represent it as a 9 by 9 array and these are basically the values okay so the zero if you see the zero means blank essentially okay that that you want to keep it in mind and and and, and further before going further uh, please understood um, those who don't know about the sudoku please google it and understand the different rules that we need to follow to solve the sudoku puzzle so now here you can see the zero as blank spaces and these are numbers okay and we need to fill up these blank spaces okay or or the zeros I have taken so from I mean I, I just have a link where basically it shows the different uh, um, unsolved puzzle and the solved puzzle okay so we will have this as our input and uh, solved puzzle as our output that is what we are actually trying to achieve through this um, system very log uh, constraints okay so let's code it actually okay so this puzzle is there so basically we need to pass this puzzle um, uh, to somewhere and get the um, get it get it solved so let me define a class okay called sudoku and let's uh, ignore the extent um, and now let's declare the same variable as this and this is our um, unsolved puzzle okay and similarly just have a uh, sold puzzle okay and make it rant so essentially this is our so unsolved puzzle is our input and solved puzzle is our output and we will get a solved puzzles by using the dot randomized call okay now let's add the different constraints here okay so first of all let's have the basic constraint so what is the basic constraint so if you look back if you look back here so the basic constraints are the number should lie between 1 to 9 and the other thing and other constraint is whatever number we are keeping here right so 2 6 7 1 that we have to keep as is in the solved puzzle okay so i will add the constraints one by one here so here we need the for each okay so for each of solved puzzle of row okay and then um so yeah this is not let's have row comma colon so we will iterate through each row and column here and and let's add the constraint here what is the constraint we need each solved puzzles row row column pair should have value inside uh, 1 to 9 okay so this is our first uh, constraint now again we need to keep the same values okay of so if unsolved puzzle of row and column if they are not equal to zero then essentially we need to keep the same value in the solved puzzle also okay unsolved puzzle of row and column that's it okay so you understand about these uh, constraints right these basic constraints now let's go back if for it so we are ending here now let's go back to the next constraint so what is the next constraint so next rule we need to follow here is each row should have unique values it shouldn't be repeating and we shouldn't miss anything all the values 1 to 9 should be there okay so that we are going to add so let's add that constraint row underscore c okay in system very log we have a keyword called unique and that applies to an array and that essentially uh, i mean that, that can be applied to an array and that essentially gives uh, there won't be any value repeating there okay so constraint row underscore c is there so now we need for each okay for each of sold puzzle of row okay that's it and in that row we just need the unique 
okay and here we will just put solve puzzle of row that's it okay this is our row constraint it's clear right now let's go back to the next thing column constraint okay so those who know about um, um, sudoku they know in column also we need the same constraint like um, uh, i mean the value should be unique in the column okay but we don't but but basically what we are uh, i mean if you look at the, this right um, uh, so these are the columns uh, 619 that is one column there also we need unique but we cannot use the unique keyword but we can use the unique keyword if you take the transpose of this matrix so what is transpose of a matrix transpose of a matrix is the row becomes column and columns becomes row okay so once the column becomes row of the solved puzzle then essentially we can apply unique um, keyword uh, for that row okay which is essentially will be the column of the solved puzzle okay so let's have a different another variable called as solved puzzle underscore transpose okay and we can just iterate okay so now let's iterate uh, each, through each row okay each row and column of solved puzzle and then um, what will solve puzzle of transpose okay of row and column equal to solve puzzle of row not row column okay that is basically the transpose and row okay so this is our one constraint now uh, um, now we need we can apply the unique so basically i will just copy paste um, this thing here and then just change the variable that's it right um, we can just put transpose okay that's it so the column constraint is also ready now the third thing is the boxes okay if you see here the boxes there is a 3 by 3 matrix okay and um, uh, this also should have the unique so now we cannot apply the unique keyword here but we have to come up with some equation so that this this 3 by 3 matrix right that should be that should all these elements basically should be a part of the part of one single uh, array okay like that uh, um, other uh, boxes so like some basically there are nine boxes basically right and each boxes should be a part of an array okay um so now um um so basically i have so that is a slight complex actually uh, i mean it's not complex it is tricky basically so ba so i have written here all these like solved puzzle box so that is a solved puzzle box is there and this is one um, uh, uh, i mean zero term row and eight elements are there and what all the values should be there it should be solved puzzle of zero 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 one zero two one zero one 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 two two zero two one two two okay if you if you understand that this matrix like um i mean i can just show you one snippet so this is basically our um, nine by nine matrix and um, this is basically our um, a three by three matrix okay and uh, the first value is zero 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 then zero zero one zero zero two this is one zero one 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 two two zero two one two two okay like that it will go so all these elements all these elements should fall in one um, 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 rows entry okay so i came up with the formula i am I, I, I i'm just copy pasting this as is actually i mean you can just come up i mean you can just understand these equations uh, and come up with the formula okay i i took some time to solve this but yeah you can definitely go through that and, and um, figure out that so i will add the constraint here constraint what is this box box underscore c so what essentially we need here is we need a uh, another uh, variable called box okay and um, same way how we did it for the um, column constraint we can just create it as is and then add the equation okay okay that's it now um now let's apply the same um unique keyword over there okay and this should be what this should be box that's it so we are done with the constraint okay now let's print it actually okay so basically we can have a function 
and in this function what we will add we will make it as sudoku solver okay sudoku solver in this sudoku solver what we will add um, um, let's um, pass this as this is this is the parameter okay and in this parameter we can just make unsolved puzzle so this unsolved puzzle is equal to uh, puzzle okay and we can not yeah puzzle and we can have this this dot randomize we are randomizing the values in this class that is i mean basically the, this is our output solved puzzle right now just print it actually dollar display okay unsolved puzzle is this okay similarly we can put solved puzzle also that's it we are done okay now let it let me run this in actually the eda playground tool saving it i'm just running it okay let's the see any compilation errors are there oh there are no compilation errors and um, it is done here okay so, so basically we are not calling uh, uh, i mean we need to we need to instance this uh, sudoku class in top and then call the sudoku uh, solver uh, function okay so essentially what i need to do here is let's um, sudoku let me make it as sudo okay and uh, here let's sudo equal to we have to just new it and we can just call sudo dot solver okay sudo dot sudoku solver and here we just need to add the puzzle okay that's it now let's copy paste this in the edf playground okay save it run it <coughs> let's see any compilation errors are there no and uh, we got the result solved puzzle unsolved puzzle and solved puzzle but these are basically in an array format they have printed we can basically have a function which prints in a format of sudoku so here if you see right this is one sample example okay <coughs> how i am planning to um, uh, print the matrix okay instead of this array i will put it in as uh, in this format so that it is e easy to readable okay so let's go back to here and then just create another function sudoku printer something like that okay sudoku printer sudoku printer okay now here also we need this input now what we will do um we got the things and now let's um so what is the first thing so this is basically our uh, header okay so let's um have a string um i will call it as um horizontal border something like that border what is the horizontal border this is our horizontal border and same way let me have an vertical border also what is our vertical border <coughs> pi piece basically our um vertical border okay that's it now now we can basically have a dollar display of this horizontal border first because if you see the first one first one is this horizontal border next is the value so this we have to frame okay so now to frame that just declare another variable called uh, let's say line and um, let's um, have this vertical border okay um okay so before that let's have our um, for loop uh, of uh, each row so grid is the grid size and let's make it as i as row okay and in this <coughs> just have the string as line because we have to iterate through each row and then form that um, i mean the row so string line is there now vertical border is there now just have another for loop and in this for loop is nothing but our column okay and in this column 
have line equal to let's concatenate everything so we will keep line as is and then what is after that actually there is a there is a space here if you see or has a space now let's have this this space okay and next is the value all right if you see the value okay this is our value so this is basically we need to print so we we can have the dollar as format f and here um, percentage this is basically percentage zero d and the puzzle of okay row column okay and uh, once after the value we need a space and a pipe okay that also we can add it here sorry let's make it a string format pipe space that's it okay now line is also done now just uh, print that line outside the loop so once the column is done then basically we can print uh, um, that line percentage zero has line okay and uh, so we are done with our first part this is done again there is a border okay horizontal border so we can have that um, horizontal border after each i mean each row correct so we can keep this as is here that's it we are done now the i mean the loop will continue and then we will get the complete matrix so now let's print this okay so docker printer so instead of these two things let's keep this as is and um, um, call the so docker printer so docker printer is there and where we will pass the unsold uh, puzzle similarly similarly we will keep sold puzzle okay is it fine yeah this is fine now let's run it and copy pasting edia playground okay saving it let's run it hmm. there is a compilation error so this is string casting so basically uh, what actually happened this is the dollar null number 86 okay so line line space dollar s format f percentage d okay i think this is a problem so here this should end here okay that's it now let's run it sorry for that mistake <coughs> yeah we are done yeah we got the matrix format here okay now let's go to the this thing and let's see whether the results are fine okay 0 0 0 2 6 7 1 so here let's go to the sold puzzle okay uh, so this is our right hand side the 4352697814 that is correct 6825714493 okay uh, please go i mean pause it and see the results are fine i mean i'm just looking at the last row 7634182259 i'm pretty sure this works fine um so that is the easiest thing now let's go to the the the, the uh, very difficult not fun case okay that also i have actually have that code um if you see here i have just commented it we can basically run that as well and see okay yeah i will just show that zero see you can see compare the puzzle values here which is the unsold thing um for zero okay now we'll just run it and see and see the results i mean it it's basically won't take much time actually it's like less than 1 second that's what i feel <coughs> yeah we got the results in 0.0 6 to 20 seconds okay now let's see the results actually okay uh, what is that okay so 1 2 6 4 3 5 9 5 8 8 9 5 6 2 1 4 7 3 6 2 1 4 7 3 the last the last row i'm looking 7 3 1 8 5 6 4 that's it okay so enjoy the coding this is just an awareness like we can actually use system with log constraint to solve sudoku puzzle nothing other than that okay don't spoil the fun of solving system uh, sudoku puzzle okay thank you bye bye